Hey guys, Momo here, and welcome to the sixth episode of our Another Code Two Memories playthrough. In this episode, we're going to find out what happens when we clear the music room puzzle and see if we can get further into the mansion. Last time we learned that D D's father was actually killed um, by his brother or the owner of the golden bird room. So something went down in the past and um, the plot thickens. So I wonder what kind of books will blah, 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 we notice. Um, and we have the white book. Right, so, um, this is going to say Henry, Henry Thomas. Since everything about this, these rooms are about Henry and Thomas, this makes sense. So the books, the, <laughs> the books spill Henry and Thomas. And what did I found, find? out from this. Uh, you found out what the piano thing was, right? Okay, so... Bloop. Um, Taurus... I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm not the best at the zodiac signs. I know the first one is Taurus. Um, then we have... The, there's a Libra. I don't know what that is. Sagittarius, maybe? But I don't know what the square thing is. So Taurus square, Libra square, Sagittarius square, Libra square, Sagittarius, Libra, Taurus. Not sure if I remember this, <laughs> but let's let's try. Let's try indeed. There's an old piano, and it's. I think all we have to do is play in the order of the signs on the books. Right, so it was Taurus. Oh, it's already the ups. Ha 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 Okay, uh, square. Uh, this one. Square. Uh. Oh. No, I have to do it. Okay, right. Let, let's, let's try again. <clears throat> I lost my, uh, <laughs> my, my my momentum. Okay, so it's Taurus square, Libra square, this square, Libra square, this Libra Taurus. The bookshelf moved. You see? There was a hidden door behind the book. There, there was a hidden door behind the bookshelf. We found it. Go, good teamwork. Yes. Come on, Dee. Oh, yeah. I'd better go over this again one more time. So that I don't forget the important stuff. I probably should have ended the last episode with this. Oh well. <laughs> this chapter was uh, considerably shorter than the first one. With D, I entered the mansion once occupied by the Edward family, in the hope of finding my father. In the entry hall, there were two paintings and a bird sculpture. The key was hidden as part of the bird scul sculpture. A uh, key to the golden bird room. Right, the clover key was the uh, was the key to the golden bird room. To get the clo clover key, I used the silver middle from the butler's room. In the wardrobe in the butler's room, I discovered that Leonard, the son of the master of the the mansion, had left the house and had two sons. 
Leonard fell ill, uh, fell ill and died young. So the master Lawrence gained custody of the boys, Henry and Thomas. In preparation for their arrival, Lawrence arranged two special rooms. These two rooms were called the Golden Bird Room and the Silver Bird Room. Right, it was the Silver Bird Room. Who is Dee's father? Dee still cannot remember his name. And I still haven't found my dad. But I have been able to find some evidence leading me to him. The task card I got in the butler's room said that was deep inside the mansion. And the message that was on the white notepad, the name that was on that note was... Bill. Right, the message said Bill will come. But who is Bill? So in order to advance any further through this mansion, I had to solve the puzzle with the books in the music room. In order to solve the melody, uh, the melody puzzle, I found three new, three books. There was the Y book, the N book, and the E book. Right, the E book that was found in the golden bird room. I played the secret melody and opened the hidden doorway. Hold on, Dad. I've come this far. I'll see you soon. Yes. With this, I won't forget. Chapter 3. The Memory of Franny. Dad? Jessica? Can you hear me? Where are you? Hmm. What's wrong? Huh? Yes, it was here. Dee, let me show you the sketch he did of me. <laughs> yes, it was the art room. We'll find Franny in the art room. The art room? Yes, it was the art room. We'll find Franny in the art room. <laughs> okay. I guess it's here then. <laughs> Art room. Um, there's a drawing on the table. The drawing paper looks new. On the new drawing paper. Is a sketch of a girl with long hair. I wonder who this is. Oh, what? The signature says Richard. Who's Richard? My dad. Your father? Your father drew this. I think so. So this must be... Yeah, I think so. This is how he imagines me to be. Yes, I thought it looked like you. But... What's wrong? She looks so different from me. I don't have long hair and I don't smile like that. And now... Dad might not recognize me when he sees me for real. No, I want to take a picture. Right. Uh, eh. there. There's something next to the paper. It's a desk card. Let's see what it says. Dear Ashley, thank you for coming here to find me. I'll be waiting for you in the lab in the back of the house. I can't wait to see you. The 
the lab at the back of the house? He's there. Ashley? Yes? What are you looking at? A message from my dad. Hmm? Dad is waiting for me in the lab at the back of the, this house. A lab in this house? Why isn't there a lab? Uh, isn't there a lab here? I'm. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure there is. Ashley, what is your father doing in this house anyway? Why didn't he just come and meet you at the pier? Don't you find it strange? Hmm. I know it's strange, but what choice do I have? I haven't a clue why he didn't meet me. That's why I'm trying to find him. You're right. I'm sorry. There's a painting on the wall. Right. Um. There's an old drawing on the easel. In the drawing, a girl smiles. She has curly hair. I knew it! This is Franny. This girl is your Franny? Yes, it's her. Franny's father drew this. I see. I met her for the first time in the hallway there. She gave me a big smile, even though we had never met before. I was a little embarrassed, so I kept looking at my feet. Then she just grabbed my hand and brought me in here. She showed me this drawing. She kept telling me what a great artist her father was. She said, uh, she said she'd asked her father She'd ask her father to draw a picture of me too. Then we went out to the garden and played with a puppy. Hmm. Listening to Dee talk about Franny makes me feel strange. Dee knew this girl in the drawing. They were friends. I just can't believe that Dee lived at the same time as Franny. She... She's either an old lady or dead by now, but Dee has stayed at my age. That boy who was Franny's friend died 57 years ago. He's not alive anymore. But Dee... Dee has been a good friend to me as any living person. Ashley? Yeah? I remember it now. What? About the person who drew this. Franny's father, right? Yes. That's why I remember it now. Franny's father is my uncle Henry. Franny's dad is Henry? I see. Is there anything else? I don't think so. D. What is it? You're right, you know? Why doesn't that come and get me? Ashley. Why won't he come out from the back of the house? Ashley. suspicious <laughs> candle candelabras candelabras decorate the wall there's a vase on the stand Henry study
There is a large speaker. What is this? You don't know? You listen to records on it. Records? I don't have any records. You don't like music? It's not that. Hmm? People don't listen to music on records and uh, much anymore. Hmm? <laughs> There's a large speaker. All right. Uh, what's this? There's a photo frame on the table. There's no photo in the frame. But what is this picture? Maybe if I look at it the right way, I find some answers. Right. So this was one of the puzzles that um, <laughs> that uh, took me a while to figure out. So I don't know if I'm actually going to ruin the recording by this. Um, but you have to actually kind of close your ears and let the reflection show you uh, what is the right thing. Um, right, so it's like, eh, uh, what is it now? <laughs> what was it again? It was like, eh, eh, wait, I got something here. No? Uh, right, I forgot how to look at it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I have to look at the bottom screen here, and uh, I think it's something like, uh, mm, I'm not sure actually, I forgot how to do this, <laughs> um, it's like, it's supposed to tell you a number, I think, um, And the key is in the book. But I'm not totally sure. Oh good, it didn't mess up the recording. <laughs> There's a key and a book. Maybe the reflection will tell me something. Like what? Oh right, oh right, oh right. Uh, it's because... Um, right here all the the bookshelves have um, letters um, so I have to figure out right 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 um, and over here it's like G B and F right okay so if I go back mm, if I go back here to the thing um, and then see the reflection. Um, it's like F3, I think. I think that's what it tells me. Um, so that's what we're going to go with. Some of these puzzles are not very um, easy to show in video because you have to actually move the is around physically <laughs> and look at the reflection so um, I'm sorry about this <laughs> but okay so we have the F section here and free the bookshelves has so many books maybe there's something inside one of the books so let's take the very suspicious big book here there's a key in the book why was a key hidden inside this book? What could this be for? So yeah, that that <laughs> uh, that's one of the things I had trouble with the, the first time I played it too. Um, I really recommend. Ah, uh, I think it's a bit too late now, actually. But uh, I recommend that people actually play this for themselves, also physically if they can. Um, it won't work on an emulator. Um, you have to get the physical form of the game before you can enjoy it properly. The fireplace is unused, but it's a painting. A painting hangs over the fireplace. 
is uh, uh, angels with a trumpet, a flute, and a drum. I think this will be relevant for later. Okay, so I uh, think we're done in this room. Um, okay, let's go. Oh, uh, not that far back. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, what's in this room? That was the art room, right? Right, right, right. And this room? Henry and Marie's bedroom. There's a small card in the wardrobe. I'm so afraid I missed a lot of these blue desk cards. <laughs> because they're so e easy to overlook. Um, I might have to uh, do a run in between episodes and see... Uh, look at a uh, tutorial thingy and see if I missed some of the desk cards because I really want to show you all of them. Okay, uh, let's um, see what this desk card says. Yes. Uh, nine o four. Card number nine o four. Richard's memo. Today I'm thinking of Japan. It's Sayaka's native country. Such beautiful islands, surrounded by the sea. I would love to go there one day, with Ashley. We could see Sayaka's pra parents in their quiet mountain village and asked them to tell us stories about Sayaka's childhood. I also want to walk under the cherry blossoms with Ashley. So sweet. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is cracking. <laughs> Crack lagging. Uh, fireplace? There's nothing in the fireplace, right? What's on the table then? There's something on the table. I must say the table looks awfully clean. <laughs> it's a green bottle. The bottle is sealed. There's something in the bottle. I wonder if I can open it. No, I can't do it. The seal is too tight. What's the picture frame? It's a framed photo. A happy family. Right, so I have to find something that I can break this with. Um, oh, that mirror looks spooky. <laughs> the vanity mirror is fogged up. <laughs> oh, on the nightstand, there are some dolls lined up. These dolls on the nightstand. Each doll is holding an instrument. Very strange. There's nothing in the drawer. There's nothing in the drawer. Okay, so... um, I think I saw some of these picture uh, dolls uh, in one of the other rooms. I think it was the golden bedroom. Pretty sure it was that. Uh, right here. I think I saw some dolls. Right. Let's just see. There are many dolls. I, I, I was serious. <sighs> right. So uh, I, I apparently still have to trigger something. And now it's thundering outside. Lovely. Hope it doesn't screw up my recording too much. <laughs> Alright. Um, maybe I have to examine this a bit more. Uh, what? Arrow, please. Um, maybe if I... Each doll holds an instrument. No? Right. Okay, guess I just have to examine the last room. I didn't examine it. Uh, Franny's room. Uh, 
Okay, so it's a teddy bear. On the display case, there is an old teddy bear. A teddy bear? This one was Franny's favorite. It looks... Uh, it, it looks it. <laughs> ah. Suddenly I'm remembering that dream I always have. The one about the night of my third birthday. I remember a birthday cake with candles set on the table. There was also a teddy bear with a red ribbon. Ashley, this is a birthday present from your daddy. That was... Oh. <laughs> that was my mom talking. Your mom is very... Uh, it's a very deep voice. But where was dad that night? Ashley? What's the matter? Nothing. I was just thinking about my mom. You want to find her? Of course, but first... I've got to find my dad. Jessica said something to me. What? She said that when I see my dad, he will explain everything. Ashley. Okay, so I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, please leave a like down below and tune in for the next episode of Another Code. Um, so yeah, I will go enjoy the thunderstorm outside because I love, uh, I love lighting. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!